my friends, it's Roxy Allen. So my dear friend Sasha said, hey, do you have anything for kids? And I said, I'm on it. And this is what I came up with. So this is great for kids and adults. I love doing it. We're gonna learn just a few easy techniques that'll give you this whole thing. And you can use any colors of acrylic paint that you want. Um, if your kiddo is super young, you can use tempera paint um, or Crayola washable, whatever. But acrylic paint, of course, is gonna give you the best results. Now I have gone and painted my canvas black, but you can totally use a white canvas. Both work beautifully. Okay, so I've given myself three layers to start. So the first layer, and I'm just gonna gently mark just kind of a hill. This is gonna be an underwater scene. And then maybe I go somewhere around here. Now, you don't need to mark them so brightly on yours. This is just so you can see it. And then maybe I want one coming down this sort of way. And this is all gonna be underwater. My sun is gonna come from here, my sunlight. Um, and then we're gonna have all of our shapes and this will just be kind of a shadow. I've got a phthalo blue. Now I am working with a teal, but you can use light blue as well or any form of teal. And I also have a yellow green color. Um, and you can use straight yellow if you want to. And then white. Okay, so I am starting with some phthalo blue. And I'm going to cover up the bottom there, and I'm being choppy, but you can be all smooth and silky if you want to be. You can all smooth and silky if you want to be. Um, and then I'm going to add some teal, start incorporating that really gently. And then this yellow, green and ideally I get the sides as well and now let's use a lot of white in here I like Good, and keep it streaky, it's up to you. But I think that's a good start. Then I'm gonna take my teal on my dirty brush and I'm going to just kind of add this. Now, I don't want this to be a perfect, I'm gonna darken it as I go down here. So I don't want this to be perfect. So I'm gonna take my finger and kind of haze this out a bit. Does that make sense? Just kind of blend it and that's gonna give it kind of a fun shadow and then come in and smush this around. You can do this with a paper towel. I have a globby thing right there, but that's okay. All right, and bring that down completely. I might even add finger painting 101, friends. Okay. Something like that. Maybe I even blend this more. Just play with it, it's really, it's just kind of a fun way to paint. Okay. Now we're gonna start down here. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of a brown. And this is any old brown that you have. And I'm gonna add, actually I'm gonna do it with my dirty brush. And just throw some brown in here. It's fine if it has some blue in it, we're gonna add it. But I just want something like that. Okay, let's let that dry for just a minute and then come back to it. 
Ignore these splotches. I'm so sorry. Just ignore them like all they're right. not there. Can you get all, all this? Yeah. So I'm going to use a kind of a brick color. And I'm just going to kind of shimmy in here. And just do almost a fan shape on the side of that. And that's a great, that's a great start. And I might do another fan shape on the side here. And maybe this way too. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take some purple and I'm just gonna place it maybe right next to my burnt sienna. And I'm just moving in big broad strokes and bringing in some more. I know that's a little bit hard to see. But again, the idea is just to get big blotchy shapes in the dark colors you love to add detail to later. Something like these shapes would be great. Now I'm just gonna speed this up and you guys fill in those colors anywhere you want. You can't see the purple? No, not really. You see it's Oh, now I see it. Okay, you're later. With this guy, let's just cover him up. We're gonna cover it up and just do a blue blotch. Maybe a blue blotch here. <laughs> and let's do some green blotches. We're gonna cover that stuff. That'll be fun. Green blotches. Let's do a green blotch here as well. Okay. Okay, I got some more colors and I'm just gonna do more using a little pink or magenta shapes here. And if you're younger, you can make larger splotches of color. And it's okay if these work out kind of weird. Let's see, what else? How about orange? Just uh, something like that. Why not? Make sure you get your sides, because trust me, you do not want a painting where you have left out your sides. So just cover everything up. So you've got lots of gorgeous base colors. Okay, and you're gonna let that dry. Okay, while this is drying, I'm gonna move up to here and I'm gonna work up here a little bit. So I want lots of white and I want some of this fun green as well. This is where I kinda want my sunlight to be. And I'm just taking, can you see the brush? Yeah. I'm just taking a number four round and the stroke is just quick, quick, And that's all I'm doing. Just gently, gently, gently. You can even use a little white in this if you want. And then start to add your teals back in. Oops, a lot of more white in there. Make sure that those sides are getting, can you see that okay? Yeah, it looks great. And then you can start adding in your deeper blues, but leave it, leave it pretty jacket. And do as much of it or as little as you want. And that's just all I'm doing. Trying to keep the bulk of the yellow up here. Well, 
bit of white in there. Try small strokes and large strokes. See how it goes. If you want, you can take a little, do something like that. And I'm gonna, because it's underwater again, I'm just gonna move it around with my finger. So I'm gonna use some yellow green here. And with this, I wanna put this up and just start moving like that. Long is where I'm going here. I actually want longer strokes, I think, on this. And then let's grab some white and elongate some of those strokes. So I am not washing in between, but you can. kind of fun. Okay. And let's do the same over here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, now let's grab some, some of the pink, whole bunch of white to that pink. And with this, what if we do the same thing, but very linear? Something like that. Maybe even bring those down a touch. Still using pink. It's very linear. Something like that. I think that's nice. Now, let's grab, let's do something a little different. I'm gonna grab a tiny little guy here. He is probably, it's called a quarter of an inch, but it's not. Whoops. And a little of my yellow ochre. And let's make rows. In fact, there are two ways that you can do this. I'll show you one where you can just do this. And I've got one over here, so let's do it on the side as well. So I'm gonna go. Does that make sense? And now I'm actually gonna add a little of this yellow ochre to our sandy bottom, because I think that looks really great. Okay, maybe a little. Something like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my half inch wash brush and I like to get a nice, woo! <laughs> I get to get a nice chisel. And I'm going to take half of my brush in the teal and half of my brush in the white. So I've got a Two tone. So I'm starting with the teal on the inside and the white on the outside, and I'm gonna keep that pattern. Don't mix it up. Always keep the white to the outside 
and vice versa for the blue. So again, half in the white, half in the teal, and make sure it's nice and chiseled. Oh, I'm losing a lot of white, so you're gonna have to occasionally just add more, that's okay. And again, halvesies. And what I am doing is rotating the tip of the brush. So for example, I'm just, can you see the white right there okay? I can see the white on the brush, yeah. Okay, and so as I'm tapping, I'm not moving the blue nearly as much as I move the white. Does that make sense? Peace. It's okay, baby. So let's try it again. For that middle part, I'm just going to take this. I'm actually not going to move that teal really at all. And I'm going to maybe do a few little dots here. And you can imagine if you just start to play with that technique, you're gonna get really good at it. There's another one up here. So let's do the halvesies again. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Or I'm just... Halvesies again, coming in. Like this. It looks so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna add, I think, some fun ones in here just to start. It's all about layering, you know. Okay, and then maybe we'll do some over here as well. Okay, that's good. All right, so. Let's take, let's take a pointy, pointy brush and I'm going to use the back end. So for this, you're going to want something that's really fluid. The yellow I think is fun, but I'm just going to make little dots with the back of my brush. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with those after that. And I can even come in, grab the white, and dunkaroo if I want. It's kind of fun. That's kind of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. And then let's do it up here. Do, 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 do. And this one's not going to be as geometric as it will be just a patterny kind of mess. I think it looks really cool. Yeah, it's really fun. And you can play, look at all of these colors you can do this stuff with. It's really great. And let's do over here as well. Just a bunch of dip, 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 dip. A dip, 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 dip. Ooh, put the dip in the, you know. Okay. And then, oh, let's add some white onto there. It almost looks like a um, beehive. Oh, yes. Yeah. And you're going to find that's true. Like a lot of these are going to like be. Or like a really cool flower. <laughs> and I'm going to come back and add a little white. I don't want white, but I'm going to add a little white and do bits in here just to brighten that up. If that makes sense. Just brighten that color up. A lot and, of, oh, go ahead. I'm just saying that a lot of these are actually reminding me of stuff like outside. Yeah, yeah, like, that's exactly right. A lot of them are reminding me like flowers or beehives or like a fan or something mm -hmm. like that. It's really cool. I'm just going to go kind of like that. What were you going to say? Oh, you can do all these different colors. Okay. So, we've got all these fun shapes in here. 
I'm going to take my number four round and start adding depth in these. So that color is really fun. And I am just dabbing and pulling, dabbing and pulling. Can you see that pretty yeah. okay? So dabbing and pulling all the way there. And a little more of that. And let's go dab, pull all of those. And with this one, let's give that one a green. And we're gonna dab it and pull, but we're gonna do it with a little bit of green. Yeah, I think that'll be kind of fun. Just to break that up. On top of this dabbing and pulling, let's bring this to some white. And now let's do a little more of the dabbing and pulling. And if it's too much, let it dry. You can come back. You can come back. So it's just white and this color. Wow. And this I feel like has lost some intensity. So I say we go back to that and add a little more. And maybe we add, I wanna add something else there. Let's see if we add a little of this. But mix that yellow with the pink. So now we're just gonna add some color and fill in wherever we need to. And do remember, if it gets too intense, let it dry, come back, touch it up later. Put it on there. Put it on where? In the, in the bucket. Let's do some school, let's do some fishies. Let's do some little fishies. And I think this color is fun for fishies, let's just see. I like fishies. So we might need a little orange. Let's see what we got. It's not what I was expecting when you said fishies. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to do a really big fishy, you can. But that's kind of fun. And they look cool. And you don't have to do too much. I mean... You don't have to do too much to this. If you want to do some little white guys. I can later break. If you want to do some little white fishies, you can come in and do that sort of thing. Who knows what that is? What do you think? I, I honestly, I love it. <laughs> And I think that those little school fishy, they're really cute. I, I love it. And I want a tiny more play up here. Let's just see if we can give it a really nice brightness. And let's maybe do a beam. Do I want a beam? I don't think I want to mess it up too much with a beam. All right. I feel like we're missing something. Maybe a little. <laughs> a little turtle. It's a little turtle. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Cut. Cute. Sorry, kid, the turtle's going down. <laughs> but you guys can do all the turtles you want. The poor turtle. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just kind of fun. That coral reef down there looks so cool. I just want to touch it. <laughs> Not until it's dry. Okay. Thanks for playing, my friends. Until next time, I bid you adieu.